Hey guys, it's Chris again. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about another round of pregnancy related matters. I know I talk about skincare a lot, but this time I thought it would be appropriate to talk about body care as well because when you're pregnant, your body really stretches out. Think about it like you're super full and you have this feeling in your stomach like it's going to explode, like your skin is just about to stretch out. That is how I feel every single day and to think I'm only halfway through my pregnancy and I haven't even really popped yet. But this video is going to be all about how I try to maintain my skin's elasticity so that I don't develop stretch marks throughout this pregnancy. If you guys are interested in watching, then please do continue on. Alright guys, now first and foremost, stretch marks are genetic. So they say, a lot of people say actually, even my doctor, even my parents, even hearsay and even the internet they all say that it doesn't really matter what products you put on if your mom has stretch marks chances are you will have too so i wasn't even gonna bother with this whole body care routine at all but my sister-in-law stacy she told me that her mom has stretch marks but she didn't get them and it's probably because i think that when my mom at her time was pregnant, they didn't have all this information about applying lotions and applying creams and oils on your body twice a day. They didn't know any of these things. At least that's what my mom says as well. And so I'm hoping that if my mom had known about these things and she could have prevented stretch marks as well, and I'm hoping that that also means I don't have the predisposition to get stretch marks myself. And so I've done so much research, guys. Like, you don't even know because obviously I think stretch marks are okay if you develop them. It's inevitable and there's nothing wrong with them. But if you can prevent them, then by all means, like, you do you, right? And so my body care routine today is going to be all about how I'm trying to make my skin really glow up and make it stretch mark free, fingers crossed. Um, throughout this whole entire pregnancy journey. So ever since I discovered that I was pregnant, I think that was on my sixth week of pregnancy, I started using body creams right away. Now I didn't know where to start. There's so many different things out there that um, people tell you to use. I used bio oil because that's what my eldest sister used. And my best friend told me that she developed some sort of weird reaction to bio oil, like she developed patchiness on her skin. That sort of freaked me out, but I finished a whole bottle and I had no reactions at all. But then I got sent a few products and tried them out and through the course of about 15 weeks from that time on. These are the products that I've learned to absolutely love and I use them every single day and so I would love to share them with you guys. So it doesn't start with the lotions and the creams, it actually starts with inside the shower and I know that this can be a little bit much so please do make it your own. I've included things that not only will help me with my stretch marks but also will help me feel better um, just generally through fragrances or whatever. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is definitely not a requirement for anti-stretch marks but it is part of my body care routine and it is this Clorance Bon Implant Tonique. And it's just like a bath and shower concentrate or gel. I got it in a small bottle because it is quite pricey, but sometimes when I'm feeling really, really exhausted from all the extra weight, when my feet are really swollen from walking around too much, and I just need to relax and rejuvenate, this is my go-to shower gel. So I don't use it every day because it is quite pricey. It's really a luxurious body concentrate. And it just smells so good. Like it smells like I'm really treating myself. It smells like a spa. I wish you could smell it right now. It smells so good my favorite it's super my favorite now this has been with me for a long time now but I still have not run out of it just because I love it so much and I really only use it when I'm having a bad day so when it comes to body care routine I definitely think you should involve all the senses um, and sense of smell is very very important and I really really do love this product all right moving on now this is something that I learned from Susan Yara who I follow a lot for pregnancy advice and tips and even skincare and beauty related things and she said that she exfoliates her body every single time she's in the shower. Now, I am quite double-sided when it comes to exfoliating because I did try exfoliating my face every single day and using a physical exfoliant that actually only aggravated my skin. I'm gonna put a link in the cards as to what that sandy skin texture did and how I developed it through over exfoliation and how I cured it. So do check that out, but when people talk about exfoliating, I try to stay away from physical exfoliants and just do chemical exfoliants because it's a lot more gentle on your skin. But she was saying that when you exfoliate your face, you're actually getting rid of all the dead skin cells in your face 
and then you can apply all the products on top of it that will really get into the inner layers of your skin and really you know make the most out of the products that you've invested in and so it's the same for your body you need to kind of remove all the dead skin cells so that all these oils and bombs and creams will really seep into your skin and give it that much needed moisture that your body is looking for so i have two with me right now i only actually use this once a week at the maximum because i'm so scared to over exfoliate so i have the brazilian body buff by sol de janeiro and this also smells really good kind of like a vanilla bean buttery scent that reminds you of jamaica and the tropics and like a beach summer getaway so i really really like this as well i feel like the beads are a lot thinner so they don't really do too much abrasion on your skin yeah i do this once every week but sometimes when I'm feeling like my skin is extra, extra dry, then I will go in with an exfoliant after I cleanse that has a lot of moisturizing properties as well. And that is what I think this does. Now this has higher or like coarser sugars in it, which is what exfoliates your skin. It is from L'Occitane. You can get this in Restance. I don't know if it's the honey that is giving your skin that added moisture, but after I use this, my skin does feel like there's a layer of oil on it. So I use this after I cleanse, I exfoliate my skin. It looks like this. There's hardly anything left now. And I will say that the Sol de Janeiro smells a lot better. This one smells like honey-ish, but I don't know. I like the smell of this one better. But this one really provides you with added moisture on your skin. Like there's a layer of oil after you exfoliate. So that's really, really nice. Um, if you are looking for something that will moisturize your skin as well as exfoliate it, then therefore look for this product. Now after all that, I will pat my skin dry with a towel, I will step out of the shower, and while my skin is a little bit on the damp side, not wet, not too dry, but just damp, then I will go in with a body cream, and this one is the Burt's Bees Mama Bee Belly Butter. It has shea butter and vitamin E, which I hear is great for moisturizing your skin, especially when you're trying to deal with stretch marks and all of these other things. And this one I discovered on Amazon. So when I was newly pregnant, I jumped on the Amazon bandwagon and started just buying everything that was on the recommended list because I was just so paranoid that I didn't have anything and I didn't know anything. So I just figured like all the people who left reviews on Amazon probably know what they're talking about. And this is one of the things that they were recommending. And I'm using this right now. I think I've been using this for the past week. And I've really been liking it. It says it's 99% natural, no parabens, no SLS, petroleum, phthalates, whatever. It's really, really rich. So I use this right outside of the shower and I try my best to spread it all over my body, not just my belly because guys, you don't just get stretch marks on your belly. You get it on your boobs because your boobs grow enormously. You get it on your butt, on your thighs. Whatever is stretching out, at a rapid speed, that is a place where you're most likely to get your stretch marks. So I apply this liberally everywhere, from my neck to my toes. And um, so far, so good. I still do not have stretch marks. I'm at my 21st week, and I've been really, really liking this too. Okay, if you are not into super thick butters, I understand that we are living in a tropical country. It can get really, really hot. My skin is particularly dry, so I do enjoy thick, heavy creams, but I know a lot of people, especially my husband, later he hates anything thick on his skin. Then you can go with something a little bit lighter. There is a lot of other lotions out there that also help with stretch marks. I think all you have to do is look for shea butter and vitamin E. If you want something that is dermatologist recommended, then I would recommend the Aveeno line. This isn't sponsored. I really love the Aveeno line and actually I use it as my body wash. I thought I got the lotion, which is why it's in this order, but this should be in the cleansers. And as I said, you're looking for stuff that actually really moisturize your body and not strip it. You know how sometimes when you're using a bar of soap and when you leave the shower, your skin feels squeaky clean, but like dry, like, like you can actually feel it stretched out. That is because the body cleanser that you're using or the body soap that you're using, it's not leaving your skin with a balanced pH and it's not actually doing wonders for moisturizing your skin, which is why we need, need to use toners when you use those kinds of soaps. But if you use a cleanser that is gentle enough for your skin not to feel sensitive or not to feel red or stretchy or dry, like this for example, it actually provides you skin relief. And this one I've been really enjoying lately. I've been using it every single day and my skin does feel more moisturized, less sensitive. So this is definitely something that I would recommend as a body wash. If you're looking for something less heavy of a cream than this, 
You can also go ahead and try the Aveeno um, Skin Relief or the even thicker lotion version of this one for your stretch marks. All right guys, we're down to the last two products, don't worry. The next thing that I'm gonna be talking about is what a lot of you recommend for stretch marks and it's actually a body oil. Now, in the past few weeks, I've been using the oil straight out of the shower because I thought that is the order that you use it in and then the cream. But now I realize that oils, which I actually learned from Susan Yara, is actually something that should sit on the top of your entire skincare routine because it is the heaviest. I feel like it's an occlusive, so it doesn't go into the deepest layers of your skin like a cream would, but instead it really hydrates and moisturizes just the top layer of your skin. So now, right after I use all these lotions and heavy creams, I will top it off with this Skin Therapy Oil by Palmer's. It is the cocoa butter formula with vitamin E again, and it's specifically formulated for stretch marks. Now, I've tried so many different kinds of oils. Rosehip oil, um, Linovera oil, there's so many different kinds, but I think overall, this is what I've been really reaching out for the most, just because not only is it a very lightweight oil, I don't feel like it's too fragrant. The bottle and the packaging as well makes it so easy for me to use. You just pump it, I just use two pumps, rub it all over my body, it spreads out really easily, and so far so good, I've been really enjoying this as well. All right guys, now I'm gonna cap off this whole video with another thing that you don't actually need for stretch marks, but you need for overall body wellness, and it is this product. It is called the Body Styling Serum by Kose. I got this, I don't remember where I got this, but I will put a link down below. And it's like a body serum, and I never really thought that I would actually indulge myself with a body serum. But sometimes, again, when you're feeling really down, you're having a bad day, a body serum is not the worst thing that you can put on, guys. It actually makes you feel a lot better. And this one just gives you like this menthol menthol feeling all over your body so when your muscles are aching this is my go-to um, it really soothes me it really relaxes me especially like when i'm about to go to bed it helps me go to sleep and i've been really enjoying it it says it's a body massage serum but actually i just use it right before my lotion and it feels amazing all right guys these are all the products that i've been using for my anti-stretch mark body care routine i hope you guys enjoyed it there are a few other things that you have to consider like don't wear too tight clothing and other things like that but you can easily google that these are the products that work for me i hope if you are a mom out there or mom to be then these will help you too with that being said please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to the channel leave me a comment down below and i will see you guys in the next one bye Mwah.